Apple just released an amazing update which is Final Cut Pro 11 and the best part is it's completely free to update. My favorite feature from this update is the magnetic mask and in today's video I'll be showing you guys 10 simple and effective ways to use it. Alright guys, let's get started. So the first effect we want to reveal the text in the timeline. We're going to make a duplicate of this. Just press option and drag upwards. Then click on the down one and press V to disable it. Then go to your effect section side. That's where you can find a magnetic mask. When you click on mask and key in, you can find your magnetic mask on that side. Also, you can find it at the magic wand. Just click on that and you can find your magnetic mask right on this side too. So we're going to work with the top video. Just click on that, drag this. You can drop on the video itself or you can drop on this very video file in the timeline. Mostly it's quite easy when you drop on the object or the subject you want to mask out. Then right here, you can see it did pretty good job selecting the car, but not the balloons. So we can select a point on this side to select the balloon too. If you want to clean some part off, you can just press option for the minus sign to come. Then click on that side. It's going to clean that part for you. Also, you can just click right on this side, the minus sign, and then click somewhere to remove that part. Another way of cleaning it up too, you can use the brush tool. We're going to use that later on in this tutorial. So just like that, now click on analyze. It's going to track it forward and it's going to track it backwards too. So now when you play through, let me click on done and show you guys what it did. You can see pretty cool clean slates. So now click on the down video, press V to enable it. Then go to your text side, click on that. Click on titles. Let's drag in basic title in the timeline. Let's make it the same length as the rest of them. Option bracket close. Then put it in between these two files. Take our playhead to somewhere here. Let's click on the test file and write whatever we want to write. Change the font style. I'm going to go for bold. Increase it a bit to this side. Now I can go to where the car reach on this side. Drag the subscribe right behind the car. So now when I play and show you guys, it's going to reveal the text nice and clean. This is something I use it a lot in my video edit. Just make a duplicate of this, press option and drag upwards. Then click on the down video and press V to disable it. Then click on the top video. I'm just going to go to the effects section side, drag and drop it on the screen. It's going to make some selection for you. We can clean it out by selecting this part too. Now we can check down and see how it looks like. It looks pretty cool. Then on this side, we can just click on this icon to bring it back. And one thing, you can change the color from this side. If the red is too strong for you, you can just go for green or any other color. I'm going to leave it at default settings. Now I can track it forward and track it backwards too. So with this done, just click on done. Go to your text side, bring in basic title just like we did previously. Let's make it the same length as the rest and drag it in between these two. Now with that selected, I can write what I want to use. Go for the bold and make it really big behind him. Now I can just bring it up to something like this. Click on the down video, press V to enable it. Now when you look at it, it's pretty clean behind him. This is a game changer for Final Cut Pro users. And one thing, you can add animation to the text too. Let's go to Tab 5A, my favorite animator. Drag and drop on the text itself. Now let me play and show you guys. It's going to pop in behind him nice and clean. This is another great feature that you can use with your talking head videos. Now you don't even need a green screen behind you. Very easy to achieve this effect. With this, we can just make a duplicate, press option and drag up pause. Select the down one, press V to disable it for now. Click on the top, go to effect section side. Let's drag it on our subject. It did pretty cool job selecting it, then click on down to check how it looks like. Let's make it pop again and track it forward and backwards. Now we can click on done and check and see how clean it is. Did pretty good job. 
Now, when you look at here, it has this feather. If you want to increase the feather, you can go up this way. But usually, I like to go down a bit, just like this. Now, I'm just going to bring in an image I downloaded online. Just drag and drop it below this very clip. So just like this, stretch it. Select the background. I just want to zoom in a bit with the background, just like this. Then go to the effect section side. Click on blur drag Gaussian blur on the image that we just brought in with the amount let's go down to somewhere 10 or 15. now with this very video clip i can increase the size a bit just to match exactly my background so now when you look at it you can see pretty clean now one thing to do make sure you do color correction on the background to match exactly the colors of your video that you're using and with this when you play around it you can achieve some great look with this talking head videos now with this magnetic match tool you can easily create some complicated clone effect and i'm going to show you guys there's one take i took outdoors with him standing at different places i'm just going to drag it in the timeline then i'm going to select the parts that i want to be using so i'm going to use this side drag to this side i'm going to select up to this part b to make a cut on that side then i'll go forward check where again he was standing he came right on this side i'm going to cut that side too then i'm going to drag it on top of the first clip so when you're shooting make sure you don't touch your tripod the basic of shooting clone videos let's make a cut so it will be the same length as this then i'm going to go for when he went to this very side of the screen make a cut on that side and drag that on top of it now i don't need this one so i'm just going to delete this one we're going to work with this three let me add some color correction and grade it quick so we can do what we want to do so i just applied a quick grade on this adjustment layer so with this it's just going to act like layers this is going to be at the background there's the first one so i'm going to leave that one on top of it press v to disable it and let's work with this very one with this one i can just go to mask and key in select magnetic mask and select the object or the subject now i can clean it up a bit let me zoom in a bit so i can see exactly where to clean i think i can use the brush tool to clean this side of him a bit then click on this minus sign we're going to deselect this part of him to remove this side now it's pretty cool so we can just track it forward and track it backwards too click on done and check and see how it looks like now we're going to work on the down video this the down video we're going to work on that one now let me go back to normal size and look at how it looks like just click on that magnetic mask drop it on the subject it did pretty good job i can select his fingers too now i can analyze it track it forward and track it backwards too click on down and see how it looks like so we need to bring this on top of all of them. There's going to be in front of all of them. So let's lift that from the main storyline. Press Option Command and arrow upwards. It's going to lift from the storyline. Then we can press Option and arrow upwards to make it go to the very top. Now let's click on this. This is going to be our background video. So we can bring that below and press V to enable it. Then with the top video, I can work with the feather a bit. So just go to the mask, magnetic mask. Let's reduce the feather a bit on that one. Now when I play and show you guys. So now as you can see, you can achieve this advanced clone effect with the new magnetic mask too. So with this music video transition, it looks just like the freeze frame transition. So we have our two videos in the timeline and this side is going to transition to this. Make a duplicate of that and let's stretch it to this very side now we can just trim the ending parts and start working with this very one take your player there click on the down video and press v now let's select the top drag magnetic mask on your subject let's select more of that to clean it up press option to take this side off now we can track forward and backwards click on done then click on the down video press v to enable it so just like a freeze frame transition we're going to add some animation to this to transition to the next scene click on that go to your effect session side 
click on tab 5a i'm going to provide you guys with this animator it's completely free very good to use drag and drop on this very file now we can increase that to six and also increase the motion blur a bit now when i play and show you guys it comes in and it transition to this we need to clean the ending part go to the out animation and turn it to none so with this music video effect, we want it to start somewhere here. So take our player to that side, command B to make a cut and command B to make a cut on this side too. Make a duplicate of that, press option and drag upwards. Click on the down video and press V. Then select the top one, go to mask and keen, drag magnetic on our subject. Now we can track forward and backwards. Click on done. And there's the trick we're going to use. Make a duplicate of this four times. Now let's enable the down video by pressing V. And we're going to play some trick with this. Take your player to somewhere here and click on this very file. Then we can go to transform. Before we do that, let's drop a marker on that side to make it easy on our side. Press M to drop a marker on this side. Then select this file. Transform, let's make a keyframe on position. Then we can go 10 frames forward, make another keyframe on position. Then with that, the X, we can move it onto this side. We're going to do the same thing with this one. To make our life easy, let's just Command C to copy, select this tool, take our playhead here, Shift Command V to paste attributes. We're going to paste transform attributes, click on maintain and click on paste. It's gonna have the same thing. Now we're gonna do some changes to it. Click on this very one and go to the second keyframe. Then we can change the position X values. Click on this very one too, and let's change the position of that. Now when I play and show you guys, it's gonna have this nice and clean music video effect. And because we did not change the position of this, it's gonna look like it's coming from behind him very nice and clean. Now on this side, you can play this trick with it. Let me make some keyframe on this side. Make sure we drop a marker on that side. Go 10 frames forward. Let's change the position to zero. Let's do with this to take our player to this very marker. Drop a keyframe on transform position. Go 10 frames forward and change the values of X to zero. Let's do the same with this tool. Take it here. Drop a keyframe to lock it on that side. Go 10 frames forward and then we can change the values of X to zero and automatically it's going to drop a keyframe on that side. Now when I play and show you guys, it goes out this and then it comes back very nice and clean. Another cool music video effect you can achieve with this magnetic mask. You can just make a duplicate of this, select the down one, press V to disable it and click the top one. Magnetic mask, let's drop on our subject. Pretty good job. Let's analyze it forward and track it backwards too. Now click on done. Let's make a duplicate of this once more, drag it upwards, select the down one, Go to the right side and click on this mask. Then we're going to uncheck invert mask. Let me show you. Let's select this and press V. This is what we achieve when we invert the marks. When you go on this side, let me take it back and show you guys exactly how it looks like. So this is just going to invert that very mask. Now click on the top one and press V. And we're going to play this trick with it. Take our player somewhere here and make a keyframe on position. Then let's go 10 frames forward, drop another keyframe on position. Then we can just change values. Then let's go somewhere here, drop another keyframe to lock it and go 10 frames forward and change X values to zero. So now when I play and show you guys, nice and goes back very nice and clean. You can use it in your music videos. Also, you can just go to this side select any background you want to use dynamic background just drag and drop it below this and now when i play and show you guys when it goes you can see the background right on this very side of the marks very nice and clean to achieve so just like this video i want to 
add a bit of brightness to him and also increase the exposure on him very easy to achieve that make a duplicate of that click on the down press v let's select the top drag magnetic mask on top of him let me select this part let's analyze it forward and track backwards too with that done just click on done click on the down video press v to enable it now just select the top video we just want to add exposure to only him so we can go to the color inspector side let's increase the metals a bit just to make him pop then we can increase the saturation on him so when i turn it off you can see we are just adding to all of him when you play it holds very nice and clean also with this tool you can add effect to your subject or your object in the video so just like this we're gonna go for some effects we want to use so let me just go to comic looks i want to add this very comic mono just drag and drop on the subject directly now we can select more of him then we can track it forward and track it backwards now when you click on done to show you you can see very easily to change only him to the comic mono if it's too strong you can just dial it down on this very side also one thing you can use it let's take it to this side make a keyframe on the mix take it to this side and make a keyframe on the mix now let's use this arrow to go to the previous keyframe and turn it to zero so when i play it's gonna transition very easily and smooth into the comic look so with this let's say you have a video and you want to censor the card normal you don't want to show it in the video or your client doesn't want it to show now it's so easy to do it with the magnetic mask so with this i'm just gonna go to all video all search for pixelate drag it and drop on the object or the subjects that I want to censor out you can see it's selecting the whole car and it's color red i don't like it so i'm just going to change the color to something like green close this and this time around i'm going to use the brush tool to clean the parts that i don't want when you look at the sliders when you go up it's going to increase the brush size when you go down it's going to decrease the size then when you click on the last sign it's going to add more of the mask to it we're just going to select the minus brush increase the size of it and start cleaning the parts that we don't want it to be showing i just want to select only the normal plates now on this side i can zoom in more to see exactly what i'm doing let's bring it down and clean the parts that we don't want so i just want to select only the normal plates when you're doing it just take your time to do it nice and clean for the sake of this tutorial i'm just gonna select just this part when you're done just click on done and you can see it did pretty cool job let's go back to fit size so from here make sure you track it so we can click on the magnetic mask it's gonna bring this out then click on analyze gonna track it forward then click on done so now let me play and show you guys so this is a great feature imagine if your client doesn't want a camera plate to be showing and you have a lot to do in the edit this is going to save you a lot of time comment down below which one is your favorite and which one you're going to try your hands on catch you in the next one peace